I'm my gardening angels and welcome back to my channel if you are new here I am Jess and today I have a fun little project um, that I am going to do um, there's two terrariums in here um, from Ferris Land and um, I, I don't know I just think it'll be a fun little spring project to do um, before I get started with that I do have my monthly subscription from Sips By. These are the teas that I was sent this month and I just wanted to try one of them during this project. It's just kind of fun and nice sometimes to have a little something when you're working. So this is a peach one that I'm going to try. Um, I just think peach sounds very springy and perfect right now. So it's peach and passion fruit. So now we'll jump into it. Um, got this two days ago and I have been saving opening it and looking at them because I wanted to show you guys on camera when I could actually sit down um, and do that. So let's see here. like a little house it looks like there's something on it but um, when I rub my finger over it it's coming off and then what's really neat about this one and I know it's kind of hard to see but there's a little arm Let's see if I can show you guys on here and you can like prop open the, the top like that isn't that kind of fun so that one's going to be fun to kind of play around with and then the other one I bought to match this one um, so that they kind of looked like a cohesive pairing. So I'm excited to see what this one looks like. I think it's a little bit bigger. not go well. Alrighty. But we're good. We're all in one piece. Oh, perfect. Look at that. And same thing has the little arm to prop it up with. Oh, I love it. I'll flip you guys around so that you guys can actually see what these look like. I know that it's kind of hard. Um, actually see from where you're at right now. Look at them. Isn't this just cute? Look at that little arm. Ignore my closet. It's such a mess. But look how cute that is. Then we have this one. This one reminds me of like my dream greenhouse or something. Oh, that's so much fun. Well, I just tested by pouring this in, or pouring some water in this, and it didn't leak, which is a problem I have with a lot of the other terrariums. And so I would have only probably planted succulents in these if um, it leaked. Now, 
Because it's not though, I'm kind of wanting to do some of my carnivorous plants and I would just leave the lid propped open, you know, in case there are bugs, they can still come in here um, and these can still survive. But so like this is um, one of my pings and I still haven't potted them out of the pot that they just came in. Um, I just set them in little poles like this and then I have these ones that just came out of dormancy or just starting to. Um, and then there's this one over here. So these are the three pings that I have. Um, they're super cute. They're kind of like little succulents. And I thought, you know, maybe we could put some of this moss in there. Um, it would maybe create a nice humid environment for them. Um, and I think they would really like it. Now I was thinking of putting them in this small one because I don't have a lot of this soil. Um, I have just whatever's in this container. Now, I also have a Drosera, so this is a sundew. Um, I, you know, I introduced these plants in one of my older videos. These plants are really fun. They have like these little hairs on their leaves. I'll see if I can't get it to focus. They have these little hairs on their leaves and then they form little dew drops at the end and catch the bugs that way. But I'm also thinking maybe I'll plant this guy in here. Um, we're, we'll see how much room I have. I want to also make it interesting. So I have some rocks. Um, you know, we'll just kind of use that as some decoration. But I think I'm going to put these guys in here. I have another sundew, but he's got a huge flower stem right now. And um, I don't want to, you know, mess with him while he's flowering because I think that'll be really pretty. Um, and then for this one, I'm thinking I'll put some succulents in there and kind of do a more succulent theme just because um, I have more succulents to work with. But I thought while I have a watertight container, it'd be kind of fun to do like a more humid tropical theme with these guys. Okay, so now we're kind of at this stage here. I have my three pings and then the sundew. I do have some of this moss um, that was growing on top of one of the pings containers. I think I'm just going to kind of layer it off and lay it down. Um, and then we have some stones that we'll kind of use to decorate in there.
just tried doing it with my spray bottle and learned a very quick lesson. Don't do that, it will get all over the glass. So instead, what I did is I have my garden syringe. There's a link down to it below um, if you're looking for it. But this is how I've watered my plants for years. But I just put some water in here um, and it makes it a little bit easier because you can kind of just go around the plants, water them in, and water up the moss. The beauty about this terrarium is that you really can't overwater it. <laughs> um, so, now it's quite saturated, um, which is fine. This one will drink up the water quickly, so I think it will like it in here. My This sundew wasn't doing super great, so I'm hoping that it will kind of revitalize that way. But we'll just prop it open, and that one's done.